I have this memory in my head of, I mean, both she and Shires are like in my face. They're like, so like, do you want to be in our band <laughs> like that? And I'm like, uh, I think so. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> Like, what are, are we taking a blood oath here? Usually been, bands get started because you've known people for 10 years. <laughs> I feel like we got married and then we got to know each other. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalie Hemby of The High Women, and this is the hit story of Crowded Table. I had had Crowded Table for a while. I have just lists and lists and lists of song titles that I've always wanted to write or maybe I could write someday. Maybe it finds its way to someone's hands. Basically what happened was Dave Cobb called me and said, hey, I'm going to be producing this group called The High Women and it's with Brandy Carlisle and Manna Shires and Maren's going to be in it and would you want to write some songs for it? And naturally I was like, absolutely, that sounds amazing. I called Lori immediately, Lori McKenna. Lori McKenna is just the salt of the earth. So she came over to my house and I told her, I said, I have an idea. I want to write this song called Crowded Table. And immediately she wrote the first two lines. You can hold my hand when you need to let go. Whenever somebody says a lyric that I'm just so insanely proud of, I just jump on. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's it. I love simplicity. I love, you can hold my hand. I want a house with a crowded table. People love songs that they can sing along to. Something everybody could literally sit around a campfire and sing. If you're in a room with me, you could tell what I like and what I don't like. I'm very vocal. And I remember when she said that and we sat at the piano and wrote it and then I turned it into Brandy and she was like, oh my gosh. You can hold my hand when you need to let go. We flew through that song. We wrote it pretty quick. Lori was the right person to call to write that song with. Brandy was like, there's just a, a few changes I want to make on the chorus. And, and she changed some lines in the song and made it that much even better. And Brandy was like, I had been talking to her a lot at the time. And she was like, you want to come in and sing on the record? And in the back of my head, I'm like going, I mean, yeah, I can, you know, but this is y'all's record, you know? But I was like, sure, because I wanted to meet her. So I go in the studio and we all start cutting it. It was like an instant bond. We started singing the song together. We're standing there like looking at each other singing the song and it just sort of, it was like a dream in a way. We were all looking at each other smiling. It's like, I don't really know you, but you can hold my hand when you need to let go, you know? We enjoyed making our record. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. There was such a buzz in the air and there was so much music going around and it's like so many ideas and lots of laughter. We're drinking wine and there's candles lit and we're like, we don't even know if it's morning or night, you know? It's like, we just, we were working and singing and hanging out with each other. It was like a big retreat in a way. And even though we had to sing stuff like 500 times, we didn't care because we were having such a great time. That does not always happen. And I don't think even if we wanted to recreate it, I don't think we ever could. Like it was just, it was a moment. And then towards the end of that night, they came up to me and they were like, hey, do you want to be in our band? And I just looked at him like, what do, I don't, what does that mean? I'm a songwriter and I don't like I don't have management. I'm not on a label. And, and Brandy was like, well, that's okay. We really want you to be part of the band in this weird, hesitantly way. I said yes because I just didn't know what I was really getting into. One of the things that she told me was, we're gonna sing with Dolly Parton, and I was like, okay, I'm in. I'm totally in. Needless to say, it absolutely changed my life. Just opened so many new doors and experiences and gave me a full lifetime of experiences. I mean, stuff that I get to tell my grandkids about, you know. The song was one of those songs that I just never saw how many people it would reach. And I saw people singing at schools and I saw people singing with their families. And, and then when the pandemic hit and everyone had to stay six feet apart, Nothing seemed more important at the time than wanting to be at a crowded table. I mean, to me, it's like, I, I just couldn't wait to hug somebody and sit at a table full of people. I don't know, it just became a song for the time. <laughs>